Iran called these types of drones a suicide drone or a kamikaze drone. This means they fly into a target and self-destruct. This holds a significant part of Iran's military strategy in dealing with heavy and expensive equipment. And we'll deal with that in just a moment. We've seen multiple times Iran showcasing these weapons and it raised a lot of eyebrows. What can they be used for and why they are more effective than you think? I'm your host Isif and welcome to Defense and Geopolitics. Let's first start with the basics. The main kamikaze drone of the Iranian Aerospace Division is the Shahid-136. This drone is 3.5 meters in length, it has a wingspan of 2.5 meters, it weighs around 255 kilograms, including the payload, it can reach a speed of up to 200 kilometers per hour, and it likely costs around five to $10,000 per piece, which is pretty insane. Now, why is this drone so effective? This suicide drone is part of the Iranian drone swarming strategy, a new technology whereby multiple drones are used to strike at targets. This can overwhelm anti-air defense systems or and wreck havoc. To give an example, in the Saudi-Yemeni war, Houthis did this to attack a Saudi Aramco oil facility in Abqaiq, and the Houthis got these drones from Iran. These weapons swarmed the defense systems that were protecting that area, and the anti-air defense system was not able to engage all targets. Most advanced anti-air defense systems can intercept 40 to 60 targets, but the Houthis launched maybe around 90 to 100, and that leaves 40 of these reaching the target area. This attack likely costed the Houthis around a million dollars, but it costed Saudi Arabia around a hundred million dollars in damage to that oil facility, and an extra 40 million dollars in anti-air defense system missile munitions. The creation of this kamikaze drone fleet is one of Iran's strategy to cope with heavy equipment at a low cost. Iran has put decades of research in drone technology and it likely has tens of thousands of these. These drones have an impressive range of up to 2,000 kilometers, allowing it to reach objectives in the region. Despite their small size, these kamikaze drones are very hard to counter in large numbers as experts believe that the drones have an advanced AI swarming ability and also the ability to communicate when on a mission. They are also not so easy to detect because of their size and small radar cross-section. These weapons are exported to Iran's allies in the region, like Hezbollah, and in case of a conflict, these would pose a severe military threat. Many experts see this as a smart move by Iran to adapt to its enemy military might. And in my opinion, these are pretty effective. A US official gave a claim that Iran is planning to sell these type of drones to Russia, but nothing has been confirmed yet. But if it was real, this would be a game changer. These would likely be used by the Russian forces to strike very expensive US or European supplied equipment, like high Mars, weapon caches, or anti-air defense systems. If Russia did this, it would likely be because this would be pocket friendly for the Russian Federation, and not because of weakness. Being realistic here. Instead of using hypersonic missiles, which cost around 5 to 10 million dollars to reach a target, Russia would likely buy these drones and strike their targets with these instead. A hypersonic missile strike has a 98% success rate and will cost 5 to 10 million dollars, as I just mentioned. But 50 of these drones would cost Russia less than a million dollars and would be more than enough to reach main objectives. Thank you so much for watching the video, sorry I haven't been posting often, I was busy preparing my thesis, and I'm finally free again. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video.